new intro so much love and appreciation to those of you who have been with me for the two-year period plus that i've been doing this um thank you for showing your uh love and support to the channel and to anybody else who is brand new to the platform and you would like to support the channel also you can do it by way of patreon anchor the clothing store and also the shoe shop that is listed in the comment description below and again thank you to any and all of you guys who have been here to support this channel during the two plus year period i wouldn't be able to do what i do every single day without you people that are the most pro-black are the people that end up dating white people or the people that talk the most crap about i agree with absolutely everything she's saying if you haven't watched her video go watch it just to get a bit of context um i live in the seattle washington area and i date outside my race i date whoever I'm interested in and whoever's interested in me basically and the sad conclusion you know that I came up with is I find white Asian and um, black LGBTQ people to be more pro-black than cis black men especially if they're religious my pro-black is decolonizing everything that's detrimental to the black community and it's featureism colorism texturism homophobia and yes religion and i find if i'm dating a cis black man i'm gonna have to ignore some if not all of those harmful things and i can't do that which is why i've had that disconnect with the guy who i was peeping ends up inviting me to his room again we're in a frat house and I'm like, okay, okay. The guy that I like, likes me. The night is picking back up. So we go to his room and the pre-room to get to his room is a living room. And in the pre-room, that's a living room on the wall, hung up big as hell is a huge Confederate flag. And I freeze in the doorway and I look at him like, am I allowed to be here? Can I come in here? And he's like, oh, yeah, it's no big deal. My, my roommate's just from Texas. And I'm like... And I don't know what to think because I grew up in a black-ass community with black-ass friends at a black-ass school. We don't have these... We don't have these moments. I'm like, oh, well, maybe, maybe it is a, a Southern pride. I know now that that's bullshit. But at the moment, I didn't know that. So we go into his room. We're getting a little frisky. Um, I'm enjoying myself. It's good. Um, when he says, I've never hooked up with a black chick before. I don't know what to make of that moment. I now know that it's gross as hell. I didn't know what to make of it at the time. This is me forgiving my past self. And we keep going. Eventually, because I'm not trying to um, knock boots. I'm just there for a frisky good time. He leaves. And I'm in the room by myself. I think he's like, hold on, I gotta go talk to my friend. Something. I don't know if that was a, co -way, a covert way to say, get the hell out. I don't know. But I'm gathering up to go. And somebody walks past the spot that I'm in and yells, Igor Liquor. And I'm, not, I'm, I'm looking around like, am I the, the Igor who just got licked? Backtrack. My friends are in the room with me at this point. They hear this. They all look at me. I start going off. I I start going off. At this point, I, I've had enough. I may not know a lot about racial stuff. So, you know, like I always say on this channel, uh, pretty much that, you know, you're free to date whoever you want to date. Um, you know, as long as you're not trying to uh, come after your own community and use the people that you are dating as some type of prop as to negatively point and down talk um, your own people right so first issue that i have is you have the uh black woman that had the the longer story right where she went into this frat house that was red flag number one number two she said she walked into this area just to get to another area and yada 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 and she ended up seeing a um you know one of those old confederate flags whatever right it, it, basically a, <laughs> a flag that'll make you stop right and uh then she said that you know, she was looking like, am I supposed to be here? 
right? So those are three red flags, right? Number one, it's a frat house. Number two, you walk past the door with a Confederate flag. And number three, you're asking yourself, am I supposed to be here? If you have to ask if it's okay for you to be here, if you're supposed to be here, should I be here? The answer should be no. But obviously she decided to still go past common sense and still try to make it towards go. So then she went past those three red flags and then she went up to the room where they started to do some things. And then the fourth red flag was the fact that he decided that he wanted to state, well, hey, I've never done this before with a black girl. <sighs> when I mean to tell people that as black people, if somebody in a sense, for, for at least black women, right? When somebody tells you this, that means that you are a fetish to them. That means that you are not, in a sense, any type of uh, individual. You are just something that they just want to play with, right? That is nothing that is endearing. That is nothing that is, in, for all intents and purposes, um, you know, should be deemed as a positive thing. It, it, it just shouldn't. It just shouldn't. That, that, that's not a compliment. It's just not. Right. So she went past that red flag. And then the last red flag was the whole thing where she stated that somebody called her a something liquor. Right. So she went past four red flags just to get to the fifth one, just to get mad, just so she can sit up there and blow up. Realistically, the way that I feel about it is that she just shouldn't have blown up at all because. Because this is something that you allowed as soon as you decided to step foot in that frat house and go after a right individual that you sought to want to have some type of relations with. The You, you went past several red flags. It, it wasn't like this was just something that just was going to happen. You went through steps one through four. So there was no other choice that you <laughs> you can only go up from here. Like I said before, I, realistically, there should be no reason for her to get angry. You should have expected this to basically take place. You're in a frat house. <laughs> that's that's all. That's all you need to say. It was a frat house. You are a black woman in a frat house. I'm pretty sure online that there are some movies that pretty much reflect that exact same thing that you just entered. But I'll let it be that. All right, so there's a there's a multitude of things directly in that video, some of which I don't even feel like trying to even unpack at this moment in time. Uh, the the one main glaring problem is the issue where you have both individuals decide to state that the most pro black right are the ones that decide to date everybody else, right? Um, I'm not sure where those statistics even came from. I, I I'm not sure where they even got the numbers. Uh, directly for that. I'm not even sure if we even realistically have any type of stats to uh, realistically uh, go by for them to even 100% prove that that is even correct. Um, you know, and like I said before, the other, the, the last black woman, right? She wanted to say that, you know, she was in Washington and, you know, she dates all these other guys. Well, of course you're going to date all these other guys. Why? Because Washington has a 3% black ratio. There's not a lot. There's not a lot. Like, you, like she's literally making it seem like she has this multitude, like this large pool of choices to date of black men. You don't. You don't. You're, you're dating other because that's what you see consistently, and that's what you're attracted to. Like I said, if that is what you're attracted to, just say that. Just say it. At the, like, yo, nobody's going to bother you. Nobody's going to care. Nobody's going to mess with you. But for you to sit up there and then turn around and say that, oh, I date everybody. And, you know, and then you want to make a comparison by saying that when you date white guys and then Asian guys. Right. It becomes a problem when you want to date straight black men. I'm not using the other terminology. I'm using straight, 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 straight black men. Because notice that she didn't use that terminology when she was dealing with white men or Asian men. Conclusion, you know, that I came up with is I find white, Asian, and um, black LGBTQ people to be more pro-black than cis black men. When she was talking about any other men, dating them and being with them, she wasn't using that terminology. But she wanted to specifically attach that to black men. Hmm, wonder why. Isn't that amazing? And then she also wanted to put into that same line the main key word, right, which is trying to brand 
black men, straight black men, as being this uh, 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 this hatred, right, against some of our other folks who are part of a different community, when realistically black people are some of the most accepting people. Case in point, we still accept the same people who have a history of violence and um, demonizing and criminalizing us, right? We still accept them within our communities. We still patronize their businesses. We still have them as friends, family members, co-workers, and everything else. So nobody's going to sit up there and tell me that Black people are such people that are filled with this type of hate for this person or that person. If that was realistically the case, we wouldn't be messed with nobody. Let's just be honest. (laughs) <laughs> that's not what we're doing if that was really the case then black people would have uh black only towns <laughs> we all know that's not the case look at gentrification <laughs> so you know a lot of this stuff is 100 percent ridiculous especially to the last one right she can be as cute as she can be right and you can still end up saying some of the dumbest stuff that i ever heard in my life still using the same type of branding trying to make black men straight black men seem as though that they are realistically the enemy word and then you're going to try to attach another label to black men as well but you didn't want to do that to the same men that you find favorable that you deem suitable to be with you because more than likely all of those men that you dated you're not married to them you they're not your fiancés (laughs) <laughs> so obviously those relationships weren't going to sit up there and last. So like I said before, it's real funny that you want to list all of these other men, but yet none of these men are married to you. None of these men you are engaged with. But I digress. But as she stated, black men are the problem. She has to overlook so many things in order to be with a black man. But then she came to her senses and she was like, you know what? I'm just not going to do it anymore. Just say, like it, like I said before, at the end of the day, If you want to go out here and you want to date everybody else, that is completely fine. The black community realistically is not going to care. The only time that the black community or black men or black women just so happen to care is if you decide to use the person or persons that you are dating as some type of measuring stick in order to, you know, down talk and belittle your own people. That's the only time that we're going to give this issue realistically any type of time. Other than that, we don't care. To, to be all fair and honest, you know how many black people I've literally seen who are dating everybody else? It's, 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 it's a few. It's quite a few out there that do it. No problem. No problem. Y'all out there living your life. You want to do whatever you want to do. No problem. Go, 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 go be you. But like I said before, to the ones that want to specifically shine a spotlight, they want to be like a Roberto. What is it? Uh, 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 Alonzo Roberto. Roberto. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Right. Uh, uh, Carlton. For the ones that want to be like Carlton and they want to tell the whole world, oh, you know, the reason why black people don't like me is because my my wife is white. You're stupid. That's the best way I can sit up there and put it. You're stupid. Like, we don't really care. Like, we're fine. Everything is cool. Like, go go do you. Whatever you want to do, go do you. Like I said, the moment in time that you decide that you want to use whoever you're with as some type of measuring stick so that you can sit up there and just like beat black people down. Oh, yeah. See, look at this. This person is better than you. This person treats me better. I'm a king or I'm a queen in their eyes. Da, 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 da. You guys never did this for me. And look how they uplift and support. Like I said before, it's like it, it, it don't make any sense. If you got to do that, realistically, you're doing that because you have issues with yourself. You have issues with your Uh, your point in life you have issues with you know the the lack of knowledge and the lack of love because you shouldn't have to feel the need to want to put a spotlight on your situation when nobody's asking you to like i said before you got problems and you need to sit up there and go fix those but like i said at the end of the day you know you got a few of them that decide that they want to you know do some things like this when it comes to trying to down talk black people and um you know they need to you know have that light directly shine you know for everybody else you know like i said go do what you do but anyways let me know what you guys think about this video and everything that i stated in the comment description below and as always peace love and stay tuned for the next video